I feel like I should know who Quiet Fish is. If someone reminds me in the comments. My guess? Eh, let me look at the spreadsheet. Why? This name is extremely familiar. I could easily be wrong. And this hand was an obvious keep even with this issue. Like, I would keep this right here would be a well above average six, so... That dude's exploding. As I get distracted. Uh, I'm just going to get double C drying out of this and remind myself why I don't play red decks, aren't I? Got to go to work. Uh, I would like this in play. In large part because an in-play Lightning Berserker can attack into a Sylvan Karyatid. That's actually fine by me. The right pick here is one of these two, almost surely. Knowing about the Become Immense makes it significantly worse. I'm guessing the pick is going to be Hordling Outburst, because on the play, I think you can get out under a Ravels. I think it's also possible that one of the reasons I didn't like Lightning Berserker was I think that my red decks were not optimized for it. I think there were a few too many twos in those decks. Yeah. Pump twice for F6 value. Not fetching because I don't want my opponent to know that they're going to be facing down green spells in the immediate future. Please just don't be coarser. Oh, I can beat that one. I'm pretty lucky. Opponent spends two thoughts. He's just taking my three drops. Draw three drop. As they always say, you cannot thought seize the top of their deck. It's a bit unfortunate that there's this Lightning Berserker green cards tension going on, but whatever. If I get to that point, I will have cast all my spells. Okay, so I'm going to put my opponent on some kind of obs on. Board accordingly. I can't imagine it being a green devotion deck with thought seas. I guess they could also be CDC whip. Let's just uh let's do a little bit of a hedge board. I want like two-ish roasts. It's not board in extra rabbles on the well, let's board another roast. My opponent's a green deck. Roast has to be good. Not have revelry. Everybody's probably actually okay. Almost surely a courser in my opponent's deck of some kind. Not sold on this. Eh. Well, that, that's such a marginal card. I think this is like the safest board plan is the three rows and the heel cutter for the wild slashes. And then we'll see what happens this next game. Though I guess maybe I was supposed to, given the seeing black cards board, as if my opponent's going to have drown. I don't mind this hand. It's not great, but... I think the Rose is going to play a pretty big role this game. Could be wrong. This might be a little too borderline, but... Yep.
So Ob's on aggro. Well, that creature is going to die immediately. Uh, let's actually think about this. Yes, so the reason that card is going to die immediately... Probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should just have fetched a forest because fetching a mountain gives away the contents of my hand a little bit, I think. Um, but the reason that's going to happen is because I think up the curve I'm just going to be playing a lot of creatures here. Like outburst and whatever. Um, and I don't think there's going to be a good position to use the roast for a reasonable amount of time. Even if it means I can't kill a Siege Rhino, I think that the Bacomomats can handle a Rhino pretty easily with this draw. Um, the bigger issue is more that the Roast is just going to sit in my hand. I'm going to take like 8 damage from that creature. Am I going to get Boon Satered? Might get Dramoka. I don't really want to get Dramoka's commanded. <sighs> yeah, I think I go. Fodder. I think I have to overextend this game. This may also be a stoke the nug kind of game. Just like poof, immediately. Seed Rhino. <laughs> Okay, I think I have to stoke the creature at this point. I think this is right. I think this forces the most defensive play out of my opponent. I'm like just trying to figure out if there's a different way to use my stoke, but it's just so much damage right there, and it forces a lot of actions on my opponent's side. Assuming this is an Elspeth. If this is an Elspeth, then this gets problematic. I guess I could draw a land here, and it's okay. Make that a block. Four blockers, one, two, three. So the actual right play involves casting become immense this turn. I'm gonna attack. I can't do anything else because at least one mana has to be used to become immense my opponent. And that was actually a mistake to attack with the denizen, I think. Um, the reason for that is... Now I'm... So I get in one damage and I put my opponent to two. But I boarded out my wild slashes. And the problem here is that I now get biobladed off of my fourth creature. Or duress off my... Eh, that's fine. I have played to my outs. Hmm. 
Not much I can do here besides hope that I draw a removal spell in the next two-ish draw steps, I think I have. Not a removal spell, a burn spell. That's the one I need. Don't think my opponent can quite attack with Rhino yet, and they can't really play black spells. Ooh, that's aggressive. Though that does give away that there isn't a command in my opponent's hand. So, take that for what it's worth. Well, Outburst is the best card to cast here. No reason to cast the Confluence. No attackers. This is really just the, like, one turn to kill my opponent draw step. No. Oh, that's where the card size is. Who would have known? Let's see. Death Dealer. Roasting it was correct. Outburst. I think besides that mistake, that incorrect attack, I think that everything went pretty well this game. In terms of playing to our outs. There's no reason to block. I'm just super dead next turn, so... How do I... I would like to cancel. We uh three damage to each opponent. Creatures you control get plus and plus one reach until on turn. Sure. Wahoo. See? That's how you play red. I guess I could have done the oh. Huh. I think that was a little pre uh nope, still dead. I was thinking that it was possible that doing that would have on my opponent's upkeep, if they had a Dramocus command, would it have let me block enough Elspeth flyers? Um I would have like just you know, potentially had another draw step, but it's a little short because the Rhino's always going to deal effectively six. These are going to save more. And basically, I'd, I'm short two blockers anyway. So, okay. We did the math right. Sweet. Got that one. Um, I'm not really sure how this matchup is. I th We wanted a lot at the Pro Tour, but I don't know. I don't know. If this was Wingmate Rock, I think I was in a lot more trouble. I think I could have probably not beaten the life gain. Like, if my opponent was able to attack with the Rhino that turned and Wingmate Rock, I would have had... I guess I would have had... Is that the turn that I cast the... Uh, Become Immense was into the Elspeth? So maybe my opponent would have just died if that was Wingmate Rock. There would have been one less blocker. Maybe. It's also possible the Wingmate would have landed a turn earlier. Yeah, the wingmate actually would have landed the turn of the rhino. And that would have negated my... Yeah, it would have negated my uh, heel cutter, which would have been a really huge swing. So wingmate rock would have been better here. I'm pretty sure that's how we were boarding at the Pro Tour, so... Just the life game makes sense. I like the duresses here a decent amount, especially because they take my creatures because of... Uh, fodder and outburst so that's actually a really important note to make